Today in this video we are going to be talking about the Schultz Optical Feather Loops. These are the flip-up style. As we open these, we see inside our loops. Put those here. We see our head strap. And then we have this accessory package which has our warranty card. It has an instruction manual, it has a screwdriver, it has the flange tool, and it also has the cleaning cloth. <clears throat> So opening up these loops, uh, the first feature that I want to show you is on the frame itself. These ear pieces are bendable and can be adjusted to any angle. This is a very important feature when fitting them to your face. You'll want them to connect to your or hold behind your ears. To install the head strap, all you need to do is just slide this on like so and just keep with uh, steady pressure, just a little pushing. You'll feel in the back where the uh, strap begins inside the earpiece, so just slide that all the way in. So just a little sliding motion there until it stops. Now, another feature that you want to look at is an adjustment to the nose pads. If you want the frames to sit higher on your nose, you'll need to squeeze the nose pads together. If you want them to sit further down on your face or if you have a wider nose bridge you'll need to open those up accordingly to what your needs are. Now <clears throat> as we open up the loops here first thing that you notice there are lens covers on here so we'll need to remove those before we start to use them and here on top we have the PD adjustment knob you can see uh, as I turn that knob that the telescopes themselves will move in and out. What I want to do is as I get ready to use these I'll need to adjust that. So folding them down for the first use I want to line up my pupils with the light that passes through these telescopes. So I want them to sit just underneath my pupils here. So wherever I wear these loops and there's a lot of range of adjustment here you can see with these. Um, if I want them for example to sit here however I look whether I'm looking down at an angle or straighter on I just need to make that adjustment. Now once I have that adjustment made then what I need to do is adjust the PD or pupillary distance. When you look through these you'll see two images most likely and what you want to do is adjust the PD closer or further apart until those images uh, become concentric and you have one circle of vision through both loops at once. So what I need to do is turn this knob left or right to make that adjustment and then once it's set then I can just tighten the screw underneath and that will hold that into that position. Now, if I want to look through with magnification, then I just flip the loops down, I can see directly through them. But if I no longer need magnification, but I still want to wear my safety frames, I can flip the loops up out of the way. 